weeks of training. It turned out she just didn't want to do that. So the sweet girl might have flunked out of bomb school, but hey, the news isn't all so bad. Her handler for her training is a Fairfax County police officer, and he adopted her. So she's home, according to the CIA, and living her best life. Fun size candy. It's a Halloween staple. Imagine our surprise, though, when we saw a post gone viral showing fun size salad. Uh huh. Little containers of salad ready to disappoint trick or treaters everywhere. Are they legit? We asked Mike Valerio to verify. The official countdown to Halloween is on. Everybody's looking forward to the days of leftover candy and the sugar rush that, of course, follows. So you can imagine the scare that people got when this picture of a fun size mini salad hit social media. People went nuts over the little bags. One woman asking, where can I find them? Kids in my neighborhood would love them. And if you mentioning this will get your house toilet papered and egged. But before you run out to buy, we, of course, verify. In fact, we tracked this photo back to this Instagram page. Adam, the creator right here. Well, guess what? He's a pro meme maker, so we can see why some people would be fooled and think this pic is real. Dole even got in on the action, letting everybody know that the photo is fake and poked fun at the idea of further mini products like pineapples and broccoli. Shifting gears, they did post a letter to the meme maker that scolds him for using their trademark without permission, but they are not demanding that the photo be taken down. So no need to be spooked. Your little ones won't be coming home with this treat in their candy bag since this product doesn't exist and this post is false. Yeah, nobody would really want those anyway, right? I don't think so. Yeah, you come up and somebody's giving out salad, you're like, ah, oh, it's okay, I'm good. Pass. I'll go next I'm good. door. I'm good, yeah, yeah, I'll go I'll get go the Reese's next, next door. door. Exactly. All right, so if we want to take a ride and see the colors, is this the weekend or no? This isn't the weekend. I thought it might really? be, but there's just not much leaf peeping out there. Okay. Uh, great video today uh, from Sky 9. This is Harper's Ferry. It's just beautiful. We live in a very beautiful part of the we country. We sure do. Um, We're so, so there's not much color out there. I think you have to give it another five days. A little will pop over the weekend, yes, but in terms of uh, peaking, it's probably a week away. So, in fact, you know, very little color south and east of 95. A little bit of color now uh, north and west of town, and some good color well west of I-81, a near peak across the divide. But in terms of Skyline Drive and Great Falls Park and up near Harpers Ferry, uh, we're going to have to wait for a while. And one reason, it's not the entire reason, but it has been warm. And that can slow the process down a little bit. Look at all the days in the 70s. We've had 11 days in the 70s so far in October, three days in the 80s, excuse me, six days in the 80s, only three days in the 60s. We had twice as many days in the 80s as we had in the 60s, and I think the next four days will just add to the 70s uh, routine. Looks like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday will all be in the 70s. All right, three degree guarantee. We're okay today. Uh, lowered it from 78 to 76. Okay, went to, was 77, pretty close. I'm gonna go 77 tomorrow uh, for the three degree guarantee. Live look outside, it's still 60 which is really warm for this time of day and night and this time of year. Our average high is only 67. Dew points low 50, still pretty comfortable. Winds light out of the north at 5. And yes, warm and just spectacular over the weekend. Still warm and dry on Monday. That's going to be a pretty good day, but then windy with rain and thunderstorms on Tuesday. Some could be heavy. We'll monitor that. That's probably our next yellow weather alert day. And then breezy and cooler Wednesday and also Thursday. Now you can look up tonight. Tomorrow night's the peak. Uh, for the uh, Orionid uh, meteor shower. Best time, midnight to 5 a.m. You can see as many as 10 to 20 per hour. It's not as uh, prolific as the uh, Perseid meteor shower. You can see 20 to 40 to 50 per hour. But quite frankly, I think these are oversold. Uh, I, I've had cricks in my neck trying to see them. I never see them. So 70s through Tuesday, 77 tomorrow, 76 Sunday, Monday, 73 Tuesday, back to 63 on Wednesday. A little cooler, but that's actually closer to average. So 50s to start. And then we're looking at 67 at 11 o'clock and 73 at 1 o'clock. We're in great shape on Sunday, 76. Again, cool for the Marine Corps Marathon, 50s and 60s. And then still warm on Monday. We're still in the 70s. Even Tuesday, even though we have showers and even thunderstorms rolling in here, so probably low 70s before it gets cooler. Then two cool days, well, relatively cool days, low to mid 60s. And then we're right back in the low 70s on Friday of next week. Well, What'd you think? that guy's not going to be around. I thought he there. was a great manager. I loved he's him. He's so even keel. Yeah, a lot of respect for Dusty Baker, but he's done. So yeah. who's going to take his place? Some possible candidates for the Nationals straight ahead.